Barcelona is a dream destination for many. And trust me, we were super excited to be there. We visited Barcelona several times when we lived in Europe over a decade ago. It was one of our favorite cities. We explored so many of the tourist places, such as the Sagrada Familia, Port Olympic, and Park Guell, just to name a few. So our plans for this day were to explore the vibrant streets, indulge in some tapas, soak up some rich history in the Gothic Quarter, and finally end our time with people watching on Las Ramblas. Hello and welcome. I am Trinice West, and this is my husband, Kevin. We recently retired, and our channel is all about our retirement journey, our travels across the U.S. and throughout the world. Join us on our adventures. We originally planned to be in Barcelona for a whole week. We're going to find an Airbnb, spend a night, and get a chance to explore the culture and just visit this wonderful city that we loved again. However, we found an MSC cruise that was inexpensive and that would allow us to go back to Barcelona, but also to visit a few new cities that we hadn't been to before. So we jumped on the opportunity. So this would give us a chance to do both. So once the uh, cruise ship MSC docked in port at Barcelona, we quickly left as early as possible because we've learned in the past that the early bird definitely gets the worm <laughs> and it's not as crowded and kind of beat the crowds if you get off the ship as soon as possible. So that's what we did. We quickly got off the ship and headed towards the city. So we just got off the cruise ship and it dropped us off here near where you can catch the Barcelona bus touristic um, bus tour. You can also do the hop on hop on bus Barcelona city tour here. It'll take you around the city. So we're going to walk over to the city center. We didn't get on one of the hop on hop off buses because we had a bad experience in the past. The traffic in Barcelona is terrible. So it takes a long time to get through the city and our time was short. So we had to get back on the ship in time before it set sail. Also, when we got on the bus, you couldn't get off because the buses were packed. So if you got off, there was no room for you to get back on and you would be stranded on the other side of town. Now, this was our experience in the past. Hopefully the buses are better now, but I will check the reviews before you get on one of the buses. So we left the where we dropped off from the shuttle bus and made our way over here. This is the statue of Christopher Columbus. Of course, a lot of people in America are not so hyped on this dude anymore. But uh, this is a statue of him here in um, Barcelona. So once you pass Christopher Columbus, you go just right behind his statue, and then you're on Las Ramblas. Um, so this is a famous street here in Barcelona. It is very crowded today, and it's April, so I'm surprised, but there are a lot of cruise ships in port today. So this might be the story of our whole trip here today, um, but they've been very crowded. Now, there were a lot of people in port, and a lot of the main streets were unbelievably crowded, even though we got off the ship very early. So this indeed was the story of our day. So was Barcelona going to be a total bust for us? What we did was we decided to use some of the side streets that were not as busy so that we could make the best of our time in port in the best of a crowded situation. We were going to try our best to make sure that it wasn't a complete disappointment. So what I realized is, um, in addition to the tours today, there is a huge book fair. So you have locals here purchasing <laughs> books as well. So that's why it's really crowded. But you can see here they have restaurants um, and shops and things like that here all along this street, La Rampas.
So Barcelona has a whole little Gothic um, center area, historic area. And so we're walking over there. It's like right next to La Ramblas. Not as crowded. We learned that today is, um, they're celebrating St. George's Day. So that's why it's so crowded. <laughs> on top of the other four cruise ships that are important. Ah, we finally figured out what was going on. What was the big event for that day? It took me a while to finally figure it out. It was St. George's Day. St. George's Day is celebrated in Catalonia, Spain, and it is known as the Day of Books and Roses. This day is celebrated on April 23rd. And that's the day we arrived in port. So that was why we saw all of the book fairs, all of the beautiful roses that were everywhere that people were selling. That's why the radio station was down there, the TV interviews and all the crowds throughout the area. So our time um, in Barcelona was coming to an end and we had to get back to the ship. So we headed back towards La Rambla and found a restaurant there. Usually we don't eat at restaurants that are along the little tourist route, but we did <laughs> just so we could eat and head back to the ship. And so we stopped at a place called, uh, let me see, Can Placa. And um, it was a really cute little uh, restaurant, great vibe. And the blue ash was good. I really wanted paella, but um, they only served it with the, the shrimp head on it. And I don't like to eat things that are looking at me. So <laughs> I got mussels in a salad. And then Kevin went with the burger. <laughs> so we ate and um, then headed back towards the ship. So our highly anticipated day in Barcelona did not go the way that we had planned for it to go. Uh, but sometimes travel is just that way. It doesn't always go the way that you hope. However, Barcelona is a wonderful city and it has a special place in our heart. 
And we still want to go back again someday. And this time we will spend several days to a week there. Um, the crowds that day reminded me of the 4th of July in Washington, D.C. And we lived in Washington, D.C. for years. And I could count on one hand how often we went down there to see the 4th of July celebrations because it was so crowded. So this kind of reminded me of that because it was a very crowded day with the celebration and then all the cruise ships in port. So was Barcelona a total bust? No, we made the best of it. I figured I'm not working <laughs> and I'm in a beautiful city and getting the opportunity to travel. So when you look at it from that lens, I always try to make the best of it. We always try to. So it was wonderful, though, to see all the locals enjoying their special day. So they were having a great time and um, the expressions of love and all the books, which, you know, I love reading. So it just warmed my heart <laughs> to see all the books and how excited um, the locals were and the people who were celebrating with families and just enjoying each other. So that was wonderful to see that. Also, I learned a valuable lesson to, uh, if I have the time, to um, check out the port the day that we're going to be there and see what's happening. If it's a holiday or um, also if it's a Sunday, you have to be careful because sometimes I know we've been on ports on a Sunday. And if it's a Sunday, sometimes things are closed because in Europe, a lot of places in Europe, that's the day that they spend with their family. So we've done that before too. So just check and see if it was a holiday. But in hindsight, I wish I'd known it was St. George's Day because it seems like a wonderful holiday that celebrates the tradition of love and roses and books. And so it would have been great to either celebrate with the locals or to have found an alternate activity to do while we were in port. Have you been to Barcelona? And if you have, what was your experience like? So share your experience in the comments below and let us know how it went for you. And if you will return back to Barcelona again, because we plan on doing it if we get an opportunity. So thanks so much again for watching and please like, share, subscribe, uh, put a comment below. And we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Take care, everyone, and safe travels.